One of the complicated words we use when we're dealing with early Christian writings is the word the agrapha, which means literally the unwritten words. But you say, but if they're unwritten, how come we only know them through writings? This seeming contradiction is that the agrapha refer to statements purporting to come from Jesus that are not reported in the four canonical Gospels. It's a complicated usage to indicate that the number of statements that are attributed to Jesus Christ in Christian tradition is larger than the statements collected in the four Gospels. So when we find a statement that is in one of the early texts that are not in the canon of the New Testament, for instance, one of the letters from the early second century by, by various people such as Barnabas, these statements, which contain quotations claiming to come from Jesus, are known as the agrapha. They are written down and they are transmitted within the tradition, but they are not transmitted in the tradition of the four Gospels. But bear in mind that not only is it a hard concept to use, but it's a concept that actually impinges on the Gospels themselves. For instance, the story found in John chapter 8, the first verses of John chapter 8, of the woman taken in adultery, is recognised not to belong to the original Gospel of John, but to have been originally an independent piece of Jesus' tradition, obviously a very popular piece of Jesus' tradition, and which circulated for several centuries as an agraphon before it was seen to be so important by some group of scribes that it was given a place in the text. And in fact, it has several locations in the canonical Gospels, its present location in the Gospel of John merely being the one that became standard in Latin and then through the Vulgate became standard in the printed text. So an agraphon is a written tradition which claims to pres preserve words of Jesus, but it is unwritten insofar as it is not part of the canonical Gospels.